Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm so glad that you're here. I wanna show you inside my recent haul from Planner Perfect. <music> I placed two separate orders. This one I placed, oh, I think last week and I already received it. And then these books, you know, when you order books, they have to be specially made. So it takes a while. And I think this took like almost three weeks to get. So, you know, they process them, they take two weeks and then shipping time and all of that. So. That's one thing to note if you are going to be ordering from Planner Perfect, make sure that you take the shipping and the processing and all of their um, scheduled times that they put on their website. Make sure you're aware of those so that you are not bummed that it takes a while to get the things that you ordered. I like to order leathers separately from books because the leathers seem to ship faster in my experience. I don't know if you guys have experienced that or not, but the books take forever. The leathers are more of a ready ship type of a thing. Um, they don't state that on their website, but that's just what I have noticed. Okay, let's just dive right in. I think the first thing I wanna talk to you about and show you is this leather. It is, let's see if I can get it out, Harper. Have you guys seen Harper in real life? I mean, not just on the website or YouTubes, I was actually surprised. So this has to be a sister to something because I have felt this feel before. I at first wanted to say Marigold, but then, I don't know, Marigold seems like it's a little bit more smoother. I don't know, I am like pleasantly surprised you guys by this black leather. So this is a size wide. It is an everyday organized and I just love it. I ordered it because I wanted to finish out October in black, but I might stay in this longer. I have to decide what I wanna do. I feel like this is gonna be good all year long. It's just kind of like a classic black color. Spoiler alert, I am going to finish out October in Harper. So you'll see that on my next plan with me video. I'm super excited about these books that I ordered. Let me just take them out of their little bags. Then I will explain to you what and why I ordered the things that I ordered. All right, let's start with this stack. The first one, Halloween. Here is my thought. Is anyone doing December daily with Allie Edwards? Raise your hand because I am. This is the first year that I'm going to be creating a December daily. I do quotes like that because I am going to do it in a traveler's notebook like this. I'm going to use the supplies and do it in this journal from Planner Perfect. I ordered this one. I guess I'm gonna do this one first instead of Halloween. So I ordered this one, Christmas memories, size wide. I hope that my thought of doing the December daily in here will work because everything that I've seen with December daily is like albums, six by eight or eight by, 10, um, there's other sizes, 12 by 12. I don't even know you guys, but I didn't really pay attention to that because I knew I wanted to sort of replicate what I did last year. I didn't use December daily last year. I was just using scrapbook supplies that I had to create a memorable journal for December. And I really want to have just years worth of Decembers in these journals to set out. Um, they're just really nice memories and the way that they come together is just perfect. So let me know below if you are doing December daily. I am searching YouTube and I'm in groups. I'm getting all the inspiration and it's a lot. 
Anyways, so the reason why I started talking about that is because Allie Edwards, she has a Halloween kit. Well, I didn't get that kit because I'm kind of picky about the Halloween things and the papers and the stickers. I don't want to go too spooky, uh, but I already have some things that I know that I want to use. But she was doing a Halloween of the past, and I love that idea. So I am going to create a Halloween of the past. She went, I think, all the way to her childhood-ish, I think. I could be wrong, but I remember seeing a photo of her younger. I am just going to start this with my oldest's first Halloween and then just move on from there. So that will be a total of 13 Halloweens that I could create in here. And then I'll just keep adding on, like I'll, I'll add this year's Halloween. And if the book is full, great, I'll get another one. And then we can have a collection of Halloween journals as well. And I feel like how cute would it be if you had like a small collection, maybe like five years worth, and you just string it and tie it together and store it on the shelf until the next Halloween and you want to bring them out and flip through them. I mean, how special, what a keepsake. So that's what I'm going to use this one for. And I love this pumpkin. I will open it here. It has the other pumpkin on the back. It kind of just continues with the, um, the scene. Sorry, I couldn't think of that word. The back of this planner has, can you see that? sleds or a sleigh like a santa sleigh and little snowflakes and then i finally bit the bullet i ordered the christmas planner i've been eyeing this thing ever since i got into planner perfect this is how i'm going to use it i i'm going to use it as it's intended okay so there's gift lists you can put the name the gift then you have a more, um, so this, okay, let me like get my thoughts kind of processed here so I can say them to you. On this page, this feels more of like, oh, I just thought of this person and they would love this. Okay, let's jot it down. It seems very jumbled. So then you can take that specific person's name and break it down more. So say one of your children, put their name here, all the gift ideas and all the stocking stuffer ideas. I love this because I always do something like this in the back of my, I think it's the November planner that I usually get. I create pages in the back. I've done it in the yearly too. And I break it down just like this, gift ideas, stocking stuffer ideas. I'll do like Christmas Eve gift because we always have um, a tradition where the kids will get Christmas jammies on Christmas Eve. And so I like to write down what they were, where I got them from and all of that. So this give, they give you a few pages of the gift recipients. For me, I have four children. So I would use four of these this year, and then I would use four next year and then I have extra space for my husband for two years and then you have stores to shop so if you have to go to a specific store you can write a list of the things specifically to that store that you need okay you get a couple of those handmade with love if you guys are making anything handmade we don't really do that so I'm not sure if I'm going to utilize that and holiday treats, it's always fun to make a list of what you want to bake. This is funny, nice list and naughty list. And then you get just blank pages. In the middle of the book, it has Christmas memories and then the rest is blank. Now I'm kind of in a predicament because I am using this journal for my memories. I haven't decided if I'm just going to kind of not acknowledge that this says Christmas memories and keep on with the Christmas planning throughout my years and then this is just gonna last me until my kids are out of the house. 
<laughs> you know, because there's a lot of pages. Or if I'm thinking that it might be kind of a cute idea. So you have your list of your gift recipient. So in my case, it's gonna be my kids. What would be neat is each year, take a picture of them with like those specific like gifts. So if there was something big that they were super excited about, tell a story about that. Put a picture of them with it and just talk about their reaction and how they're using it. I don't know. Because I don't really want to, I don't want to make it just like this journal, the Christmas memories journal, because this is going to be all of December. So maybe I might just highlight on certain things that are happening on Christmas day. I don't know. We'll see. I have to kind of play around with it and think about it. All right. My next stack here is one that I'm super excited about. We all know the dilemma of what's for dinner because we know that we have to eat dinner every single night. <laughs> and I am stuck in a rut where I make the same things over and over and over and I feel bad. No one complains. Everyone likes the food because they're favorites that we like. But I just want to have more of a variety and get better at meal planning. So insert in these journals. My plan, I ordered this off of Buy, Sell, Trade. I ordered a new sturdy looking leather. This is Yazabel if I am correct. It's the out and about, which I don't really need for what I'm gonna use it for, but that's okay. For now, I'm going to um, stick these journals inside of Yazabel. I guess I could do that right now while I'm chatting with you one at a time. So it's going to stay in my kitchen. And I picked this leather because I figured if spaghetti sauce splashes on this, it's just gonna wipe right off. If spaghetti sauce splashes on marigold, it's gonna stain. Uh, I, I can just tell because here I have my marigold right here sitting next to me. And I received this from Planner Perfect with some sort of a stain on it. I have no idea what those are. It came to me like that, but I am just imagining if grease splatters or something, this is just going to look horrible. This one, you can at least, or it seems like you can at least wipe it down. So the journal, I put on here, meal plan, got a rooster because I have roosters and chickens in my kitchen. Not a lot, probably just like one or two, but still it's kind of like the country theme. And in here, the meal planner pages, you get the menu. So you plan Monday through Sunday. This is going to keep me intentional about each week. So I'm gonna sit down on the weekend and plan out the next week. And then I will look and see what we need for them and write out my list for shopping. They give you a couple of these columns for your shopping list. You could probably easily break them up into categories, dairy, produce, and things like that. And then it just keeps going. This is how it is the whole entire planner. So I'm going to pop that into the first string there. My second book, I labeled it appetizers and drinks. I got this pretty sunflower because I also have sunflowers in my kitchen. And the inside pages are the recipe pages. I am going to keep this TN as my recipe book. I haven't seen many videos on these recipe pages from Planner Perfect. So I'm kind of figuring out, like I'm gonna figure it out on my own and what I wanna do and how I want it to look. I've seen two things so far. One was Jenny's where you have the recipe, you write your ingredients and how to prepare it. And then on this side, she had 
um, a picture of the either the food or a picture of the kids eating the food and then you can like it's a spillover where you can keep writing notes over here and any tips or things like that then i've also seen a video where the person wrote a recipe on this page and then just acted like this page was not part of this one and then wrote recipe and then had another recipe on this page. So, I mean, essentially you can fit in more recipes that way. I think I'm gonna do a mix of both where if there's a recipe that has like a really good picture, it looks really yummy, or if it's the kids baking those Christmas cookies or making cinnamon rolls, maybe it might be fun to add a little picture and have like a memory, but I'm not putting that pressure on myself to photograph every single one of my recipes and my meals. So what's going to go in here is everything that our family loves and enjoys. And then each time we try something new and we like it, I will add into my recipe book. So this one is specifically going to be for appetizers and drinks. So it's kind of like a recipe box where you have different categories and different sections. Just it's in a book. Now my next one is main dish and sides. I don't have pears in my kitchen, but it just seemed very um, kitcheny to me, like, you know, something that should be a recipe book. The inside pages are the same, the recipe, the ingredients, preparation, and then a blank page, and it's all the way through that. So again, I'm gonna keep my main dish and sides in this one. And I can see this book being more of um, a recipe on this page, a recipe on this page, because I don't know. I mean, sometimes my enchiladas look real good, so I might take a picture of that, but I don't feel like I need to. I feel like this next book, Baking Day, is going to be where I'm going to want to put all the memories because, let's be real, when we're all baking, we're making memories and the kids want to join in, at least in my family. And so that adds to just the special moments. So the pages again are the same. So I'm super excited about this new TN that's going to sit in my kitchen. My plan is to pull out this TN every weekend, open it up, figure out what I want my menu to be, have my grocery shopping list. And if I hit a block in my brain where I can't figure out what we want to eat, then I'll just come over to these pages and I'll kind of just glance through what our favorites are and choose from there. So do you guys have a recipe book from Planner Perfect? And if you do, how do you use it? Is it just, do you use it how it's intended to be used? Writing the recipe and then like memory keeping on this page? I, I'm curious. I'm curious if there's a lot of people who have these. I, I'm not finding a lot of inspiration online, so I'm not sure if there's a lot of people who actually use these. So I think what I want to do is film as I'm writing in these so that you can see Either that or I'll do like a flip through after the fact. I haven't decided what I wanna do yet, but if you're interested in seeing the process, let me know because I am open to sharing since there's not a lot out there on these recipe books. So that's my order. That is all that I purchased and I am super excited about it. Where did my, there it is. I was like, I purchased something else. Okay, well, that's not gonna fit in there. So that's everything I got. Hopefully you enjoyed this haul. I know I enjoy getting things from Planner Perfect. I love using all of the items that I get, and I just wanted to share with you and show you my recent order. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I will be happy to answer them. But until next time, you guys, have a great rest of your week and we'll chat soon. Bye.